You ready to start? Yep. I'd like to welcome everybody out here to the Trail of Hope. Um, we started this venture in uh, 2011. It was just a big dirt pile from the uh, Lions football field. They pushed over here, and at the time I was a TrailWorks board member, started a program called Forever Wild for everyone. And our president at the time, Carol May, said, I think you should build a trail in your hometown. So I said, okay. So we went out with a GPS and just walked. And where the trail is, is where the GPS took us. And what that meant is we had to carve through, with a skits there and a bulldozer, carve through the side of this berm here and make the trail on both sides. And then we moved the other dirt to have layers so you can do plantings from low to high. And so that was the beginning. And then it was uh, a woman got a hold of the week, uh, hope you need help. And I, I sincerely believed it was a God blessing because if you, this is an amazing, Brian even said early on, how are you going to maintain that? And if it wasn't for people stopping at the right time to help, it wouldn't have been possible. So we could hope came and they built some of these wonderful things out here. Um, the various things you see from the gazebo to the beds to the, um, some of the raised beds and, and all these things all around here. They were, they say, what can I do? And they would thank me after they would spend their day in a hot and heat out here. And uh, recently we had the, both the career creations from both these come out here and they have been out here every day um, planting uh, their Monday through Friday. I was hoping the kids were here, but sometimes it's difficult for the kids to get here on the weekends and things. But they come out and they, would, they planted these flowers and uh, vegetables everywhere. And this is like our, our uh, Garden of Hope is teaching where uh, things originate from. This garden is South America, North America, and you probably heard of corn, beans, and squash. So those things are growing in here. This is a Trailworks is the organization that sponsors the Trail Hope. It's, so if you want to make a donation, it would be to Trailworks, care of the Trail of Hope. And we have a brochure here for that. A couple other things. We have these special candles that I have. Uh, a woman, um, she made these because she was in a nursing home and she uh, it meant the world to her. She found the mission at 88 years old and she made these candles up for everybody that helped with the trail. Open. This little light of mine, there's a little thing she donated, that ginkgo tree over there. She's since passed, but she was a, a wonderful person. Um, and we get donations from Rakers Roberts out of Michigan. And this is one, the 285 plants come in these, in these little hands transplant these so we can put, grow them till they get big and put them in the garden. So, And then we have things like golden paint that donate the paint that we can paint the rocks for, the silver rocks. We, I know you bought that, but they have this wonderful paint that we paint the different rocks with. So it, it, I'm, if I forget somebody, it's, it's I'm sorry about that, but it's, uh, and um, the reason we're here today is through another, obviously let's use that segue from the paint to the, Lisa found me through finding one of the murals that we were painting. And he says, where is this? Well, it was in the studio. And from the studio, I, 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 I kind of went behind. I said, call me. And she called me, and she found that, that not only did we have murals here, we had this accessibility trail. And she's been looking for a, a place to host the CMV special uh, recognition. So we got that um, National Trails Day is today, June 5th, across the state of New York and the nation. And it says, find your trail on my T-shirt. I think this is actually a T-shirt from years ago from a National Trails event day. So I happen to wear this today. My, I like lots of trails, but I found this trail apparently. It's gonna be mine for a while. I'm trying to find some younger folks to pass it to. We'll get there, but. So um, Lisa and I met and we've been coordinating this event ever since and I've learned a lot about it. And I can't say enough about the Career Creations folks who not only painted these 250 rocks, but also did all sorts of wonderful things. And they were, women's out here when you have a broken foot and out here and hustling around with, with a boot on. I mean, come on, that's that's awesome. And I'd like to thank my mother for bringing popsicles for all those years to those, and we're talking Monday weather with 95. She'd come out here with the popsicles and we'll find every kid. And it, it'd be interesting because I'd be tilling out here and all of a sudden these little wrappers would come up out of the garden. I would always remember my mom there. So anyway, I'd like to thank uh, my wife for being here because she, uh, she supports all my adventures a little bit. So you do a little bit too much, but that's okay. So um, anyway, um, I'd like to introduce our special guest today, uh, 
uh, Brian McNamara. He's our assemblyman for uh, Wayne County and uh, Cayuga County, um, and he's been very supportive of ventures in the past like this. And, um, and uh, he is a co-sponsor of the CMB bill. And I'm just going to read the proclamation, and introduce himself a little bit. So, thank you, Brian. Come on up. Thank you, Mark. Good afternoon, everyone, and Lisa, thank you for having me out this afternoon. It's my privilege to be here. And uh, one of the many resolutions that we do read on the floor of the assembly, and the one that we uh, had not too long ago, 246, I'd love to read, read the resolution today and uh, just let everyone know what it's all about. Memorializing Governor Andrew M. Cuomo to proclaim June 2021 as CMB Awareness Month in the state of New York. And whereas the state of New York takes great pride in recognizing serious diseases by proclaiming official months to increase awareness and such concerns which affect thousands of New Yorkers. And whereas it is the sense of the legislative body to mem memorialize Governor Andrew M. Cuomo to proclaim June 2021 as CMB Awareness Month in the state of New York. And whereas in 2011, Congress passed a resolution naming June as National CMB Awareness Month. <coughs> Excuse me. CDC takes this opportunity to increase awareness of the genital CMB among healthcare providers, pregnant women, and parents. And whereas CMB is the most common virtual infection transmitted from a pregnant, pregnant woman to her unborn child, and the leading non-genetic cause of deafness in, ch in children, the majority of the people who are infected with CMB have no signs or symptoms, and while there is no side effects, it can be devastating to the fetus. And whereas one in 200 children are born with CMB, and roughly one in five of those babies will have long-term health care problems, such as hearing loss, intellectual deficits, and vision abnorm abnorm abnormalities, and whereas each year, 400 children die from congenital CMB, in part because of the majority of infants are symptomatic at birth. And whereas in adults, the CDC estimates over half of the adults have been, have been infected by CMB at the age of 40. And whereas CMB is also transmitted by contact with saliva and urine, often from diaper-wearing children to adults, pregnant, pregnant women often get CMB from their toddlers, especially toddlers, as nearly one in three children are infected by the age of five. And whereas it is difficult for mothers to protect themselves from a virus carried by the children they care for, especially if they are unaware of the virus itself. Less than one in five pregnant women are aware of the CMV virus. And whereas for women are warned about this infection, and according to a federal survey, less than half of the OBGYNs tell pregnant patients how to avoid CMV. And whereas it is imperative that women are educated about the virus itself and simple pre preventative measures such as not sharing food with toddlers and washing one's hands after changing infants and toddlers' diapers. And whereas a test for CMV can be done immediately upon receiving the results from a newborn infant hearing screening, which typically occurs at a facility before a newborn is discharged. And whereas significantly infants who receive a timely diagnosis can be given hearing aids and access to early intervention programs to have the, <clears throat> to have the best chance of learning to, to talk, recent evidence suggests that routine screening of newborns and also infected infants to receive constant monitoring and treatment of necessary, ultimately increasing his or her chance for optimized developmental care. Now therefore be it resolved that this legislative body passes it, pass in its deliberations to memorialize Governor Andrew M. Pomo to proclaim June 2021 as CMV Awareness Month in the state of New York. And to further be it resolved that a copy of this resolution, suitably engrossed, be transmitted to the Honorable Andrew M. Como from the state of New York.
Thank you, thank you Brian. Thank, thank you. So much. Thank you. That's a, okay. Thank you, Lisa. That was a lot. Too Why don't you go up there to stand together? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Can you get a picture? Of yes, I will. I'm, I'm just thrilled. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, it sounded great. Kristen, can you can you get in the picture? Okay. You want me to bring Autumn too? Sure. But yeah, bring Autumn and I'll have a picture of Elizabeth and then I'm going to read the uh, CMV rights and proclamation. Okay, great, great. Um, and we'll do a photo op afterwards. You want to do it afterwards? Well, I mean, we can all together. Okay, why don't we do it? We'll do it afterwards, okay? So let me read this. Um, okay. But thank you for reading that. It meant the world to me that June's been declared Cytomegalovirus or CMV Awareness Month. And I wrote, this is my daughter Elizabeth, and I wrote what I'm calling the Declaration of CMV Rights and Sentiments, and it's based on what the women's rights movement wrote. They wrote the Declaration of Sentiments in 1848, and that was launched in the Erie Canal town of Seneca Falls, and how here we are in Lyons in the Erie Canal town, and I thought, why not launch CMV, a Declaration of CMV Women's Rights here in this town? And I'm just gonna read the beginning and end because um, you've already heard all the information why we should raise awareness. And this is the beginning and end of my document. People from all over the country and some all over the world have signed it. So if anyone wants to sign it, they can get in touch with me and I will add your name to the signatures. We, the undersigned, hold these truths to be self-evident that women are created with certain inalienable rights and that among these are life, liberty, the pursuit of happiness, and the right to enjoy the highest attainable standard of physical and mental health, and the right to protect their pregnancies from infections and all other known causes of preventable birth defects. We believe women have the right to be educated about cytomegalovirus, or CMV, the leading viral cause of birth defects, and how to reduce their chances of contracting it before and during their pregnancies. And then uh, I have a lot of uh, what Brian just read, and then my closing remarks are, uh, children born with congenital CMV also have rights. CMV excretion is so prevalent that attempts at isolation or segregation of children who excrete CMV are impractical and inappropriate. Similarly, testing of children to detect CMV excretion is inappropriate because excretion often is intermittent and results of testing can be misleading and therefore misleading. Therefore, use standard precautions and hand hygiene are the option, optimal methods of prevention of transmission of infection. And that I'm quoting from Red Book, the American Academy of Pediatrics, in that statement there. My closing remarks are now, because women feel themselves aggrieved and fraudulently deprived of their sacred right to protect their unborn children from the leading viral cause of birth defects, we shall use social media and circulate tracts, petitions, and excuse me, uh, circulate tracts, petition the state and national legislators, and endeavor to enlist the pulpit and the press on its in our behalf. And that's from the civil, uh, the Women's Rights Declaration of Sentiments. My call to action, and I have a lot of uh, ways that women and the public and legislators can raise awareness. You're welcome to contact me, Lisa Saunders at Lisa Saunders42 at gmail.com. Thank you. Do you want to come up and speak? Can you? Do you feel like it? And about the rocks? Yeah, you got to put the rocks on. Uh, we'll do the rocks now. All right, so yeah. let's uh, play. Let's play the music. In the days I prayed, all the ways I did all this handwriting. Sippy cups and kisses too. And our goal Lakes of food were shared. In New York, every year, it's estimated 222 children are born permanently and permanently disabled by congenital CMV every year in New York. But love was like all I'd ever need to keep my kids from harm. First time I laid eyes on you, the moment you were born. Feeling that Lynn came over me. To. She wrote this song to raise the awareness. So strong, so began the surgeries, the stretching and the strain. How we loved your quiet. Smile. 
smiles, your sweet light, pure and brave. Had I known, I'd be someone else today. So we have another visitor. I 
song I wrote called God is watching you and we uh, always close with this to special occasions like this today thank you for everybody for coming out today close your eyes and fall asleep for God is watching you. A playful day with tired eyes, oh, the Sandman counts my sheep. The sun is set, the moon is up. Frost is on the sill. Close your eyes and fall asleep, for God is watching you. Gemini, Orion, in Pisces, too, Leo and Taurus in Virgo. Scorpius, Pegasus, and Cancer, too. Oh, the stars are watching you. Close your eyes and fall asleep, for the stars are watching you. A playful day with tired eyes, oh, the sand. Man counts my sheep. The sun is set. The moon is up. The frost is on the sill. Close your eyes and fall asleep for God. Thanks for coming out today, and if anybody would like a tour of the Trail of Hope, I'll take you on the tour and see all these wonderful creations that we have done out here. So thanks again for coming out today. Thank you, Brian, for supporting the bill, and uh, thanks for showing up. And uh, June 5th, wonderful day. It's going to get warmer, but we had a nice breeze today. Yeah. So thanks a lot. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you for doing this. Oh, thank you. Let's do a photo op of everybody together. Yeah. Either I can get the banner, or we can maybe I'll just bring the banner over here and we'll hold it up. How's that? Okay. The rocks. Okay. All right. In the days I carried you. All the ways I cared Sippy cups and kisses too Plates of food were shared A blissful life at mother's speed Why would I be alarmed? Thought love was all I'd ever need To keep my kids from harm First time I laid eyes on you, the moment you were born, a feeling that came over me, a stab of fear so strong. So began the surgeries, the 
stretching and the stream Oh, how we loved your quiet smile Your sweet delight, pure and brave Had I known I'd be someone else today I'd have something else to say Had I known Had I known Life wouldn't have turned upside down You could have been here with us now Had I known If only someone told me Of all that could go wrong It's too easy not to talk about it The silent virus has been hidden Far too long It's something they call CMV Most children will be spared Were they not at liberty to tell Afraid to scare There's a promise that I made to keep As I let you go My precious one I'll sing this song so All the world will know Thank you.